Hello, this is Transformers Fan G138, and I'm here with a video review of Transformers Generation Soundwave. And I have to say, this figure is pretty cool. Um, false said Trans Soundwave. Anyway, it's neat. Um, it's a little bit larger scale than I like. Um, I generally collect the deluxe class figures. Um, for that reason, I like the scale better on the Generations um, War for Cybertron Soundwave. But this guy just has one of the best gimmicks ever, I think. It's pretty cool. So, start with that. You can pull off the gun because it looks pretty stupid on the top. Um, there's a little button here on the side. And that opens up the front and put this flat you can actually put laser beak which comes with them in a data disk form and he kind of sets in there there and then this closes back up and you just mess around with this. Like that. And there you go. It's got some nice paint apps in vehicle mode here, you know, the purples. I love the translucent wheels with the uh, purple well caps, or wheel caps, or whatever you call them. Uh, he's got some paint under here, so when this is compressed, it actually looks like the tape cassettes from the original series. It's always cool. It's got this seat up here, which ends up being like a lever, and that allows you to move the data disks inside. Um, I heard you could put up to four in here. I only see room for three, personally, so I really don't know how many of them actually fit in there, but uh, I guess I'll find out when I get my... Um, because my, uh, I can't really call them cassettes, my other data disks in. So if you pull this level lever forward, you can um, push them up front. And if you want to shoot them out, you can still do that by continuing this forward at pretty good momentum. It, in theory, it works better than practicality. There. Like that. Um, I like the gimmicks idea. Not 100%. doesn't work 100% correctly, but it's not bad. And there you go. This can close up, back up, and... There. So that's all cool. I like this guy. So, Laser Beak, who shoots out. He's kind of, she kind of shot out and kind of one of the wings popped out. But it's designed with this little button back here. So if you drop it, he auto, they auto transform. All the um, data disks do this. I think uh, from what I've seen, this guy probably does it the best. This one, Buzzsaw, and yeah. Got a nice little Decepticon logo here. It's got all this uh, detail painted onto it, and of course, it transforms. Um, no, virtually no posability because everything's on springs, but it's still kind of neat. Set that aside. Come back here, grab his gun, and grab him. So, at this point, we're gonna push this forward. Unclip the panels here and here. Flip these down and these down as well. And you have his legs almost done. Ah, unpop that, pop in down there, and his legs are complete. So we're going to come up here. At this point, we can pull this back, flip this down, up, and in. 
like that. Next, we bring these down. Flip these wheels behind. Flip these up. Flip this panel back. Do the same on this side. Lift up on the hands. And push this forward. And here Soundwave is in robot mode. And you can take his gun, his little machine gun, it goes on his shoulder. But you could also put it in his hand if you so choose. Um, in the original uh, sketches of this, he actually had two, just like uh, this one did. His rifle and a shoulder cannon. But in the end, he did not. Um, probably because Blaster comes with one, so, yeah. So, the cool features about the robot mode. Well, he's got this finger here that looks like it's outstretched like this. That's so it can look like he's going to press the button on his shoulder. And I think that's one of the coolest little details they did not have to do. But they did. So it's like the original. He can go and press his butt own button. Why does he have to press a button to release him? No idea, but it's still cool. So. Yep. That's neat. Um, hmm. Anyway, the button on his shoulder is actually the same button we pressed earlier. And does the same thing. So. A little bit of uh, difference on this guy. Put well, so to put laser beak back in data disc, you just fold his head down and plug the wings back in. So what we'll do is we'll put laser beak back in his chest here. And when you put data discs in, his back just extends outward like this. And it's weird, it kind of kind of looks a little weird, but you know, it's a functionality thing. Push it forward because he's all the way back. So it's not too bad with one in there. I can imagine it sticks out pretty far with three. So, if we hit the button, there he is. So, See, it would, see, again, does this. But, anyway, still kind of neat. I like it. So, as far as articulation goes on this guy, he's got a little bit of foot movement. Odd. Unfortunately, nothing too superior, just because that's how his foot transforms. Uh, he's got a ratchet knee joint, a swivel above the knee, a hinge, a hinge, uh, no waist swivel. Just I usually double check that in videos because they usually discover, oh look, it has a waist swivel. Whoops. Uh, he's got a hinge up here and here for a shoulder, so he's got a full range of motion there. He's got a swivel as well as a hinge here, a ratchet elbow. And a little hinged for transformation hinged hand along with a swivel wrist. And his head does turn, but it's extremely tight. So and that's it's all good. So for a little bit of a comparison, here he is side by side next to the Deluxe Class version. 
Now, he's actually very similar. Uh, he's got the whole thing. This one looks a little bit more screen accurate, the way the claws end up being on his chest. But this one's a little more practical for the vehicle mode. Um, I do like the fact that this, this one is the size that it is, and I like the fact that he actually has both weapons. Um, his ankle joints are a little bit loose, but you know, whatever. Overall, he's very similar in design. He's the same, he's the same design, so, um, I do like the wheels down here rather than up here. His back, I kind of like better on this one, just because I don't like where the wheels fall. And then, you know, in the end, I really like this. I wish these wheels could be like, tri again, like the other one, I wish these wheels could have some better placement than where they are. If you want this guy to look a lot more like that guy, you can uh, rotate the wheels up, if you so choose. Or keep them down like I do. So the transformations are similar. Um, this one actually I find is a little bit more fun to transform than this one. Uh, this one's, you know, from going from a, uh, because these are toys, I'm going from a toy standpoint here. This one's more fun to play with. Where if you're going from a collecting standpoint, I like the scale and looks of this one a little bit better. However... These are toys, they're meant to be played with. I love this guy, just because he's that fun. I mean, who does, does, didn't want a sound wave from Fall Cybertron that had a chest that opens? I think this is as close to the original we're going to get without the masterpiece. Just saying. And this is pretty cool. I like it. And just for fun... If you do this right, you can actually balance. Oops. Sound wave on his arm. Or, not sound wave on his arm, wow. <coughs> Laser beak on his arm. It's a little bit tricky, but it can be done. There. Anyway, um, so that's my video review of Soundwave. Really like this guy. Really like all the paint apps on him. I think they did a good quality on this one. This is the first Voyager in a while that I can actually say that. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And go out and find yourselves a Soundwave. If I find Sound Blaster in the store, chances are I'll pick him up because I wanted to see this mold first and he was a little expensive on Big Bad Toy Store. So, if I find uh, Sound Blaster, I'll pick him up because um, he is a character. I'll probably leave him in the box though. Um, be, just because, you know, he's literally the same character, it's just after he got rebuilt and stuff, so. I'm going to leave him in the box and probably put him on the shelf, because the box actually looks pretty sharp. I don't have it here with me, unfortunately, but, yeah. Soundwave. Thanks for watching.